Hey there, Jay Mart here. I've got a fun video planned for today. I'll be walking through the steps to do projector mapping. Uh, I use a Windows PC, uh, so it's uh, Microsoft Windows 11 that I'm currently running. You can see behind me, I already got my projector going. Back there, what I'm planning on staging for my Halloween mini shows that I'm creating. So this is just me experimenting, doing different special effects and animations and stuff like that as I plan for this year's Halloween haunt mini shows. So projector mapping software. So they this fxprojections.com, they got some good information on how, how to do this on your own home for this very specific purpose uh, for holiday mapping and stuff like that. And they've got a, a software that you can download to your Windows computer. But like I said, I'm using Windows and I'm running Windows 11 on this PC. Uh, but yeah, I'll put the link to this in the description of the video so you can easily download it. But you can come down here, click download, and it's going to come over in a zip file. So here it is right there. Let me open that up. Put it on the screen of the monitor that I want to run the program on. So I double click on this program. I'm going to go ahead and run it go through the installation and it's going to open it up on this. So this is very important. Um, last year I was messing around with this and kind of got frustrated because I would make content on my computer and then I was running an iPad to run the shows and um, trying different things, ways of doing it. Also putting it on, on flash drives and putting it straight to the projector. And I did not realize the most important thing is you got to get your ratios right. So whatever your resolutions um, is, your your monitors, you want to make sure you're picking a resolution. I recommend 16.9. The projector that I'm using is an Optimus um, short throw projector. And um, there are settings in there. So you also want to make sure that resolution is a ratio um, for a 16.9. Um, if you do that, and make sure that is uniform with all the different that you're using this content that you're making, it will work properly. So now you can see I created a big blanket. Uh, it's just a big white screen. And this program is pretty simple. Uh, you just use your mouse. So let me get it on here. And there you go, see? So I can come in here and map this projection window that I made for our Halloween hot and basically give me an idea of where all that is so you kind of get the idea you know you're just kind of coming around and creating a map I already got one for this so I won't spend too much time but yeah just coming through and just mapping these different sections you know because these are my pumpkins. I'll be putting special effects on those. And then, you know, like here's my bookcases so I can see where all that is. But yeah, you just do outlines. Real quick, um, and you guys would probably figure it out. To get out of here, you don't do escape. There's no buttons. Obviously, it's just an open program that's taking your whole screen. You just right click it. You have two, uh, um, you got a few options in here. So if you want to just kill it, you just quit it. Um, if you got your outline complete, you just make it um, save as or a save, and then just that will um, create the file that you will use for your projecting mapping as you create your show. Um, like I said, I already got one for this, so I'm going to go ahead and just quit. I don't need to save it. And actually, I will even show you the one that I already have, so I'm going to pull this up. And... There, it's kind of lined up, but not quite. But if you're looking at my monitor, I'm not expanded all the way out. So I'm going to hit expand and pretty much it lines up. So I might, it looks like I bumped the projector a little bit, but I can realign that. Um, as long as the projector is in the right place, it should be some very minuscule um, changes that you have to do to getting that right lined up again. But yeah, so there's the mapping for that. Also, real quick, let me show you this. These are some of the different ratios for, uh, you know, the 16.9 uh, 16, uh, when you're trying to do that wide view. An important thing is coming in here, I go to my display settings. Let me pull this up so you guys can see that. And like I said, this is a key component right here. 
Um, I'm mirroring the projector to the same thing as the monitor right here. And then I come down and make sure my display resolution is one of those 169. So that's this 128720. So everything that you do will, you want to make sure that you follow that. And then also like when you're in your video editing tools uh, and creating in that format, you also want to make sure you follow that exact resolution. I would follow what your projector is. So I would select that as your resolution and then everything will line up properly. All right, we'll go ahead and stop here for a minute now.